Buzz Kilman hosts the Chicago Blues Jam Sunday night at 9. And this week, Jimmy Mays visits for a live in-studio jam. Right after Buzz, it's Elwood Blues. Join Elwood in the House of Blues along with his guest Duke Robilliard from Room Full of Blues and the Fabulous Thunderbirds. It's brought to you by Samuel Adams. Vote the best beer in America. And uh, we've got the blue aeroplanes in here. At least part of them. How's it going, fellas? The best part. Yeah, the best part. We're going to listen to a song and let them get a little organized and uh, come back, talk to them, and let them play a little bit live. This is Broken and Mended from the new CD, Life Model, available on Beggar's Banquet CDs, records, tapes. This is Loop FM. Back, Loop FM, that was the Blue Aeroplanes, broken and mended from uh, Life Model, the new CD that's out. So, uh, we're with Gerard and John. Hello, fellas. Hi. How was, Hi. Uh, you played at uh, Double, Door. Double Door tonight. Unfortunately, mm-hmm. I was there, but uh, had to leave to come here, which was unfortunate because I was looking forward to hearing you live. But um, how did the show go tonight? It went really good, actually. Yeah, I mean, we haven't played here for like four years. That's what you're saying. It's the first time in four years, huh? Yeah, so it could have been like a nightmare. It wasn't. (laughs) No, actually, it was really good. It was probably the best one of the three that we've done so far. And yet you're, it's not really a tour, you're saying. You're going, you're hitting, uh, you're here for a week, and you're going. Well, we have, you see, we have a new record, which you said, but that's new in that it was like three months ago here. Mm -hmm. But we recorded it like two years ago. Some, uh, it took a long time to come out. We've done a whole other one since then. Some rec- it should be out in January. Was there some record label uh, switching or 
Yeah. 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 Well, we did it for a label called Chrysalis, and then it got bought out by EMI. You know, so it's like it's corporate nonsense. Yeah, that's usually what happens. Mm -hmm. We mess with all the artists. We had another uh, another artist up here who's playing. And they uh, she, her CD. She put a CD out, and then they made her do it a different way. So when they she got to another label, she'd put it out the way she wanted it out. So she's actually put the same CD out with few few variations. But uh, the people. Yeah, we just got stuck between two labels because um, one owned it, and Beggar's Banquet wanted to put it out. So they had to like bargain for about a year and a half. <laughs> <laughs> Lawyers. Like, and we just sat there going, uh, 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 and twiddling thumbs and yeah. sitting around. But now, yeah, it's all groovy. What, so last time you were here, was it a, were you touring across the country for the I most part? The last time we were here, we played with a band called The Church, I think. And mm -hmm. we did something else since. I can't remember. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, we did like three months. And one time we just played okay. everywhere. It kind you, of you had a, a bit. in this uh, billboard article I was gazing at. Uh, you had a single out, uh, "Your Own World," is that? Mm -hmm. Which was they were playing on the radio a bit, but then no, they played on radio a, a lot. lot. <laughs> <laughs> no, they did. I mean, we were like really, really mad because we so had that's when the radio, record label they started playing it. Yeah, and then literally we came over here and we did this sort of like show, and we were saying, "Hey, we're coming out in six weeks' time. Tour, it's great, you know, rocking." And we did these like uh, radio stations that don't normally have you on unless you're touring, but mm -hmm. because they really liked us, they had us on before the tour. And then we didn't tour because yeah. you know that doesn't everything help. Went, everything does went do lally, <laughs> do south, <laughs> to hell in a handbasket. Well, during this negotiation time, was that when you had the chance to write the other album that you're putting out in January? Yeah, yeah. What we did with that because there was only me originally. There was only uh, me and one guitar player. <coughs> and um, we were thinking, what the hell are we going to do? So we phoned up everyone that we knew that liked the band or liked <laughs> musicians that we'd been using, and we said, you can have uh, travel expenses and unlimited free beer. <laughs> and we like, kind of waited for people to turn up. Really? Yeah, and we did three two-day sessions, and the people that turned up were the people that played on it. And we did most of it in the studio, and most of the stuff on the next album is a first or a second take. No so kidding. So people are still oh. kind of, you can tell they're kind of new to the song and they really want to push it. Right. You know, it's not like uh, you've rehearsed it and taken all the guts out of it. It's just people just think, wow, that sounds great. And you can hear them playing. It's great. It's really good. So you get, sometimes you get a better sound when they're not exactly 100% familiar. Yeah, well, it kind of bleeds in, you know, you get like everyone's playing. It's, well, music is like, it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be like that, isn't it? It's like music is people playing together. Right. Not kind of one guy in the studio going, dunk, 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 dunk. Yeah. <laughs> then another one going, dink, 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 dink. you want some spontaneity, yeah. You don't want it, mm. you don't want it uh, all tracked. And yeah. well, it's like if you, what you just said there was recorded two days ago, and then the thing that I said next was recorded this <laughs> afternoon, and <laughs> you put them together. You would know. Yeah. Well, yeah, and it's not like having a conversation, is it? No, it's not. You guys have been around, uh, been together. Well, you've had a lot of uh, band changes, I presume, <laughs> right? <laughs> God, so I mean, to that slowly. Yeah, yeah, you you've have. been around <laughs> for a long time. Well, John is a guitar. He's only twenty-four, so he hasn't been around a long time. Twenty-five. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wait till he gets over thirty. Yeah, He'll exactly. be so. Oh God, wait. wait. But, well, uh, I started it when I was twenty-four, and it's like ten years ago. You know. And it, thing is the rest of the band is still 24 <laughs> <laughs> keeps you young I've huh? got older <laughs> and they're all the same age nobody's seen <laughs> the ex-members since yeah. <laughs> yeah do you know where they are no oh, I don't not. no I don't they're talking though Beggar's Bank was uh, they're putting out this is uh, are they putting out a promotional CD that spans that's what this article saying I'm just going oh, from the yeah, article that never, that never happened that never actually. happened oh no, great no. but I think that's partly because I thought well if they're going to go to that much trouble, I might as well just Put like the, do a proper best of, yeah. um, which might come out next year. I don't know. We're, we're still like, we're still, I don't want to think too much about the past because it's actually a very good lineup and we're like we're well into what we're doing. So think, are you ha you're happy with Beggar's Banquet and the way things are going so far? Or? I'm just happy in general. Okay. I mean, it's like, well, that's good. <laughs> what's the point in not being? You so, know, especially with music. Where are you guys playing tomorrow night? Uh, uh, Boston. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> they're going yeah. all over the place. Wow. In, in a week, they're hitting the whole, the whole. Yeah. Uh, well, we were in New York 
yesterday and a day and a half before that we were in Los Angeles. Wow. So it's so just like, it's a lot of planes. Yeah, it's a lot of flying. But it's good fun though because we've played, I've played a lot of places maybe like two times or three times and you kind of meet people and it's nice to see people that you know. Yeah, that's you true. Know, hang out. Copping the free, frequent flyer miles too. Yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> oh. beggars, beggars so banquet, they might, yeah, they're okay. taking them, <laughs> they're taking them. Where'd you play in LA? What do, uh, club, do you remember? Troubadour. The Troubadour, yeah. That's an old family. I used to, to go hang, I grew up in outside LA, so I used yeah, to yeah. go hang out the Troubadour and the Whiskey and all those places. I've never actually played the Whiskey, but I was outside the Whiskey having a photograph session done with yeah. me and a guitar player. And this, like, this it's girl was taking pictures, and this guy came up and said, You're a band. <laughs> I said, uh, Well, yeah. He said, uh, English? And he said, um, Do you want a manager? I said, um, No, we've got one. It was Kim Fowley. Really? Yeah, yeah. He said, Do you know who I am? And I said, I do, actually, yeah. Didn't he do the, the runaway or what? The, or the yeah, girl? Yeah, he did the runaways, but also he was like, uh, he was, because he said, um, what have I done? I said, you did uh, B Bumble and the Stingers. <laughs> <laughs> he went, you do know. Good. He went, good. <laughs> yeah, he's been around a while. I was thinking it might be Rodney Binghamheimer. I don't know if you ever heard of this guy. He's some, he just hangs out at the whiskey and he's done a radio show for a long time and just thinks he's, uh, you know, Mr. <laughs> Music. So if you don't know him, it doesn't really make a difference. <laughs> Um, would you like to do something here live for us? Since you have the guitar out, I assume you would. Well, sure, like I say. Yeah. Whatever you want. Fun's fun. Well, since you were uh, talking about your own world, and I've got to, um... It's very strange, we just played this great gig with, you know, three guitar players, and <laughs> now it's cranked up to ten, and now I'm sitting in a studio at quarter to three in the morning, and, uh... We feel the same my way. my band? <laughs> But um, this is your Oh, here. <laughs> we'll pass these mics along oh, here. Oh, we also mics. Okay. Use this one for your guitar and you sing in that, and this will be yours. Rock him. <laughs> okay, a little song called Your Own World, which is actually written about um, the difference between England and America. Give me a tape, your secret, but let's not give you my money, just give it a car. Tell me where you wanna go, let's go to where we're hoping that no one tells us what to do, and I will get you a cool bliss. I will get to feel like this. I will want to see you. I will catch a plane. I will catch a plane. Now, if I wanna see you twice, I'll catch that plane again. Living in our own world Together, yes, and separately Now we're young, we will go far We'll name our children after our car Have swivel hips to feel that blast And crystal toes and plastic cars To sing our hymns, hear us sing Nothing is an unmixed blessing Drive me down to each west coast If you can read this, you're too close I still want to see you That truth and hand it to me. Meantime, can I stop writing now? I really want to see you. Really want to see you. I will catch a plane. I will catch a plane. I will want to see you twice. I'll catch a plane and a train until we're living on our own world. Give me a message. 
message I can see Living in our own world Yeah, call me, call me, call me Until then Beautiful. Yeah. The mic switch is going on again. John, you can pick that one up and Thank you. That was nice. That's uh, that's the one that's been, that <laughs> nice. was being played. It nice. is nice. What are you? That was, was kind of like uh, what the hell's his name? Who's the actor that said at the Madonna now? <laughs> he came back. Did what? Who's the guy that? Uh, no, no, no. Come on, fellas. Ah, oh, never mind. I've lost it. Yeah, well that yeah, that was like Warren Beatty. No, no, no. Uh, <laughs> he's saying just nobody's helping me here. Kevin Costner. That's, did you see that the, the Madonna Costner. movie? Her documentary? He saw her in concert. He comes back. He goes, oh, yeah. that was neat. Oh, yeah. Same, same uh, and she rips the tape. She, 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 she goes, oh, thanks. Yeah, and right. just turns around and she goes, like this. Sticks her finger down. So. It's pretty much the same so reaction you reaction just got. I just got saying, and that's why I said it. Well, that was nice. <laughs> it was brilliant. Pleasant. Is it better? Pleasant. Agreeable. It yeah. was it was good, yeah. I like that. That's the song that uh, they were playing quite a bit of a while back, correct? Yeah, we like Janet because uh, we both get to sing on it. So uh, actually, got, you, this is your no. I get to sing. You get to talk. Oh God, shut up! <laughs> we got to take a break. Do we have a break? Yes, we got to take a break. Hang on for a little bit. We'll come back after a break. Sure. We'll get you out here quick, so you can go home and sleep, or get on the bus, or so wherever the hell you're going. Sleeping in five. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. The, All plane, right. the plane's landing here in a moment. Oh. Right, it's taken off already. We'll be back with the Blue Aeroplanes on Loop FM. Well, Keith has offended our guests, but they still are <laughs> They've here. Left. <laughs> They've yeah, left. Our ghosts are still behind, though. Okay, now explain, if you don't mind, don't mind my faux pas with nice in well, England. Just, yeah, in England, uh, basically, if you think something is really, really crap, but you don't want to offend people, you go, hey, you know, it's nice. <laughs> 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 wow. And almost to the point <laughs> where, yeah, almost to the point where it's like a joke, like <laughs> someone plays you a, like a new song, and you go, God, John, that was really nice. And they'll go, fuck off. Oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> it's all right, we got it. Yeah. Go like, you know, Nick like, off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, so... So when, when, was, Ke when Keith was, said that, did you I take it that think, way? No, no, not at okay. all. It's just that he said it and went, nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, then I had to explain. And so. I don't think <laughs> I've ever heard you use that term to describe a song before. Oh, right? God, it's like you're caught, no, you're, no, it's your caught Shut for, up. You're caught for words and... It's getting worse and worse. Uh, I was, yeah, it is. It's getting deeper, I isn't it? leave the subject. I think nice will now be banned on this radio Oh, station gosh. for like yeah, 10 years. Well, Jackie was there. She saw mm -hmm. the live show. Jackie, how was it? It was incredible. Definitely worth seeing. Well, I tried. I had to leave. It wasn't nice, Jackie <laughs> said. It was incredible, but not nice. It was nasty. <laughs> <laughs> nasty in a nice way. Well, I was talking with you, Gerard, a little bit about you You sing, but you also speak your, your, word, your lyrics on the songs a lot, too. And yeah. How... Uh, we were he he was comparing with like rap now, you know. Now it's like rap's the hottest thing going. And, well, not the hottest, but it's very popular out there. And and uh, sometimes you I don't do you get do some of the critics or sometimes get on you because of that or because you're not singing. No, everything? people don't really make the connection, mainly because we play with loads of guitars and I don't come from the Bronx. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it's it's like 
it actually is, it's nothing like rap in itself except that yeah, I'm the whole basis of rap is that the guys write the words and they talk them and the instruments play the tunes mm -hmm. but you can do that with rock music too which is like what we did you know it can still be, be melodic because that's what guitars are for right you know it's kind of you don't have to have the singer doing it anyone can do it and the only reason I got into it in the first place was because I wrote all these words first and the only way to put them to a tune you ended up sounding like um, oh god like Genesis before <laughs> you know, when Peter Gabriel was in them it was like long tune lines and it sounded like progressive rock it was like horrible so I thought well much easier get the uh, guitars to play the tunes and I'll just like do what I do Sort of, with no disrespect, man. Don't say it's, <laughs> not, it's like Johnny Cash made a career out of that in country music. He mm. speaks a lot Quite. of his words. That's yeah. a big tradition of uh, people who can't really sing growling their way through their songs. Yeah. Right. I mean, <laughs> There's yeah. a lot of them. Lou Reed never really sang many notes. He's probably yeah. sang four notes in his entire career. It's, yeah. it's all in the uh, voice. The difference is that I can sing, I just choose not to. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> so, are you putting, do you... Uh, I had seen somewhere off. I read it in here. Poetry and t uh, putting out a book of poetry. Have you done that? Are you thinking of doing that? Or well, I found or did I not read that right either? No, no. You, well, you did, but it, it's <laughs> like, well, it took a bit of an odd turn because I had so many of them I couldn't kind of put them together. So I've given given them to this guy to edit, and as soon as he's like put them into an order and everything, then we'll put it out next year, and I'll probably do kind of like a spoken word or acoustic record and maybe do so because I've done some acoustic mm -hmm. gigs like we've just done here right um but like more poemy stuff do you yourself play instruments I mean did you play the guitar and other instruments or I play the guitar about as badly as anyone can play the guitar I wrote yeah. one tune on one of our records you haven't heard me which I'm yet. quite proud of uh, no no I'm worse <laughs> I what what I do is I get someone who's better than me to tune it to an open chord then I just like put one finger across <laughs> and bar fret stuff until I get the basic things and then I get a real cheap keyboard off my mum and I put the top bit on then I give it to a friend of mine to play properly <laughs> and take it to the band so they don't think it's like really crap and <laughs> <laughs> it kind of works there's hope for you Keith there's hope for me you maybe yeah that's a tip I might be able to make some nice total music. non musicians out there <laughs> <laughs> How to get good musicians to do your yeah, songs? Well, yeah, well, uh, you. But you need a friend that can play. Yes, I, I don't. Well, I know a lot of people can play. I don't know if they're friends, but but they can play. Well, would you uh, do another song for us, please? Mm, yeah. Wake John up, will you, Tom? John, just <laughs> come oh, on. Oh, one oh, more. Oh God! Right. Okay. All right. Um, John's pretending. Introduce it and tell tell people where it comes from. This is another song in A called Detective Song. <laughs> Um, and this is off you can tell he's a musician the next record the forthcoming the record coming. <laughs> okay yeah. we're doing the, the microphone thing again oh, um, well, I didn't sing on this one alright then we don't have to the hell with you watch your water bottle where should my um, where, should, where should I be right here? yeah you're fine right there it's you. and triangles those are someone's feelings strewn all over the road another person waves your hand it's a cat show in winter that exhibition's behind us a new shape intending to be the last in the heart of it the heart of it you try to see round it well look at you what's going wrong what's going wrong well if you want to be a kite you get wound into my hand and let go easily anchor to the earth Want me around, want me around World nil, space one 
It doesn't exist, but you live there anyway. You won, you won. It's like being in a book. Take a look at that. When you find a clue, drop it to earth. Leave me a ticket alone. Detective song, detective song. <laughs> that's off the, what, do you have a name for that CD yet no not that far yeah, ahead yeah 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 it's called uh, it's called Rough Music Rough Music yeah which is partly because I thought it was going to be kind of pretty end together because everyone was um, you know, just like coming together and playing because they were uh, wanted to make a record for us you mm -hmm. know whether they were in the band or not there was no kind of A&R people no People talking about how it's going to send in Japan, right. and it's just like to make music. Um, and I got the, the actual title from an English medieval practice, which is when if a couple were having loads of arguments and shouting and screaming and basically kind of like pissing off the neighbours, people would give them a couple of warnings. And if they carried on rowing and you know, upsetting people, the whole village would turn up dragged them out of the house <laughs> they would tie the guy to the back of a horse and cart the woman would have to walk behind and would be made to like shout at the guy and the whole village would line the streets banging pots and pans and screaming at them it was called being given the rough music <laughs> I can't like that idea there's a few <laughs> yeah, people yeah. I want to do yeah, that to yeah. there's it's a few that I see let's bring it back you're listening to WLUP Chicago we got the blue. Well, we've got a few of the blue aeroplanes up here. Is this your first trip to the states, John? No, um, me and Gerard um, were here in uh, July, yeah. August, July, something like that, um, doing stuff like this. Playing? Yeah. Were you, were you, did you do some recording out here in the states, or was this all done in England? No, we, we came. We came over and uh, did you know radio stations and press, and we did a gig in New York at a club called the uh, Fez. This was two of us. It was really cool. I came here when I was, um, well, to America when I was 17. I worked in a factory for six months. Really? <laughs> to come to uh, come to New York. Oh, boy. That's too uh, bad. I walked around New York feeling shit scared for <laughs> two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's, that's really scary. Good place to go when yeah. you've never been there. It's New York. Yeah. Small oh, town. Yeah. Big town. It and walking. Kind of, yeah. There's a lot of walking there. Yeah. Lots of walking. So where are you headed off to next again? Boston. Boston. Mm. In uh, oh, it's under five hours now. Eight o'clock. We've got to be in church. Yeah, we're we, leaving. We're it. on a plane at eight o'clock. Hey, party! <laughs> party on the plane. Straight through. <laughs> you may fly there yourself. Who knows? <laughs> well, we appreciate you guys coming up here. Yeah, and, sure. um, we wish you a lot of success, and hopefully, we'll we'll, uh, we'll be hearing the CD and uh, on the on the radio waves more than than not. And we'll look forward to the new one coming out. 
It's very nice you guys to come up nice and you know in the good sense. <laughs> yeah. God, I wasn't even being critical. Just kidding, man. I'm just messing. Oh God, it's a wind up, isn't it? It's yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. The concept, the wind up, the English concept of the wind up. We appreciate Gerard and John coming up. Blue Aeroplanes, check it out. The new CD. What did I do with that? So here we go. Life Model is out. It's actually, well, it's new in the sense that uh, it's, been, it's been done for a while, but it's out. And they have another one coming in January. Is that what you said? Yeah. 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 Okay. Thanks again. <laughs> we want to thank the Blue Aeroplanes again. Thanks, Gerard. Thanks, Gerard. Thanks, John. And uh, we're going to play another song from their uh, latest one that's out, Life Model again. This is the Blue Aeroplanes. This one is called Daughter Movie. And this is the Loop FM. I should not be allowed. Can you hear this? Huh? 